Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is backing out and did it again one more time. Today we got something special for you guys, man. We are going to be doing a portfolio review, right? Um, so let's just get into it. Let's stop wasting time. All right. So let me show you guys the screen I have right here. Shout out to Jonathan Keener. He sent me this uh, portfolio. He said, hey, Joe, check it out. Tell me what you think. Okay. Uh, now, for those of you guys that's interested in sending me your portfolio, you can definitely send it to me and I will go in and review it here publicly. Right. If you want me to review it, you know, private and give you more tips. Hey, become a diamond member and you'll get access to all of that. All right. But let's get into it. So here's Jonathan's portfolio. Um, I'll be honest, Jonathan. This is too simple. OK, um, like if I look at this portfolio, it has everything that you need, but not structured properly. OK, so you have a picture of yourself, right? Jonathan Kinner, your name, right? You have your projects, your GitHub, your contact, and that's all good, right? Um, and your projects are actually not that bad, right? They are pretty much exactly what I tell people to do if they're going for HTML emails, right? Have some real emails from, you know, some real businesses so people can see that if they give you the design, you can go in and actually build the project that they give you, right? Um, I haven't really checked to see if this is responsive or not, but it seems to be, okay? So, so far, so good. Uh, this project, I don't know about this one, but the other ones look pretty good. Uh, let me see what else you have in here. Southfield Public. Okay, I like this one. This is nice and clean. All right. So, yeah, I mean, your projects are good, right? You're going for uh, basically HTML email developer. You also have some front end design and landing pages here. I don't think you, you need to, to mention that. Right. You don't need to go in and separate this and be like, well, this is my front end projects and this is my email projects. You don't need to do that. You just go in. If you're applying for an email developer position, have things that's relevant for an email developer. So having landing pages um, are actually, you know, something that is relevant to the position. So you don't need to say this is my front end design and landing pages. You don't need to do that at all. OK, um, but you know, the portfolio, to be honest with you, is just, it's too plain. It's too plain. Like if I have, I don't know, maybe a hundred candidates, you're not in my top 20, right? Maybe not even my top 30, just because you didn't leave an impact on me, right? Like as I'm looking at your portfolio, I'm like, okay, cool. And I might go into this projects, right? Like, let's just say, let's simulate, um, I don't know. I'm young HR girl. I'm young, <laughs> right? A young uh, entrepreneur looking to hire an email developer. Maybe I'm CEO. Maybe I'm, shoot, I'm just a dude that works at a company. And I'm trying to see in the sea of applicants out of a hundred of them, right? I get this portfolio and I'm just going to go through it exactly how I would do it, right? Okay, Jonathan Kenner. Okay, projects, GitHub, right? Contact. I'm reading through your section here. Okay. Uh, interesting. Very nice. Okay. Now, when I get over here, I'm like, why didn't he give me some pictures of what the projects actually look like? So I can see if I even want to invest my time into seeing these projects. Right. Um, I like that you have the, okay, the HTML, CSS, right? You can also view the code. It takes you directly to um, to the projects themselves, right? As far as I get up. Um, but I'm telling you right now, it's just too plain. Now, I'll be honest with you. You still will get some type of callback. If you go in and send it to enough companies, Somebody out there will take their time to go through all your projects, right? Um, but if I'm looking at this portfolio right now, I'm like, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's like if I'm your teacher, right? And I give you a task and then you come 
like, hey, we supposed to do like a final project. You remember when they do used to do like those trifolds, <laughs> right? Things like in a science class, and you had to come in and and prepare it. Imagine you just came in with just the trifold and like one text, and that's it. There's nothing interesting. There's nothing that you know is bringing your personality in here. There's nothing that I could say. Okay, this guy put some effort into it. And this is something that you sent me on the portfolios uh, email when you sent it to me. You said, hey, Joe, hope you can tell I've been following your advice about your HTML emails. Uh, not as perfect as I like it to be, of course. And I think it's not bad for now. I mean, it's okay. Your projects are good, right? Except one that I will probably take out. I don't know if maybe it's this one. I will probably take this one out. I don't know. This looks kind of cheesy, so I wouldn't have that one. Um, everything else is good, the projects. But the portfolio itself, remember this. A lot of times, you got to catch the person's attention, okay? I'm not saying to be like a GSAP master. I'm not saying to come in and, and you know, record a video that's playing in the background and it's you snowboarding, doing 360s. Like, nah, you don't have to take it there. But put some effort, right? Put some effort. This is, I could give you an example. It's like going to an interview and you show up with just a plain white shirt <laughs> and a couple of, you know, uh, coffee stains on it. And, and you're like, hey, if they're going to hire me, they're going to hire me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm looking at this portfolio. That's, that's the mood that I'm getting. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like sometimes you got to put the extra effort. Now, um, the good thing about it that I do like is the white background. I do believe that having a white background makes a big difference. I see a lot of people who go in and only focus on dark themes. Guys, that's not the audience, right? When you go in and create a dark theme, your audience is not for, you know, developers. Your audience is going to be usually somebody who is not a developer who, uh, actually likes to see like a, a light background not everybody goes in and, and be like hey man i need to see a <laughs> dark theme right i mean this is why when you go to facebook right is a certain thing that they have right so this could work for everybody it's not just like well this is for developers let's make this all darks you know dark theme now if you go to maybe i don't know uh netlify i know they had at some point or uh code pen that io right then this is towards developers so we like this shit right this is for us this is why we like this type of look right we code like that we have our vs code themes like that but the average person that's not what they're looking for you're going you have to go in and give them something that welcomes them in it, it has something to do with something uh, psychological. I can't remember. I remember uh, going to college and one of the professors explained it to me uh, why that works. Um, but that's just how it is, right? Um, <laughs> so again, uh, basically that's my advice, right? Your portfolio projects are, are solid, right? Except one that I will probably remove. Um, this Wimpy Burgers is not bad. I like it that it's like real uh, website for like a type of business, right? Uh, let me see. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Website pages, okay. This is nice to look at. Again, this could be for a business, so I like it, right? Um, the other thing that I will say is make sure that this is on a domain. It just makes you look like a professional in the sense of like, hey, I'm active out here. Like if I see just a dot pages dot dev, I don't even know where this is being hosted. If it's GitHub pages or where wherever it's at, um, but it just doesn't, doesn't give me that. Hey, I'm a pro. Hey, I already got clients, right? Like it's just giving me. I'm a beginner. I'm still trying to get into the game. So sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it. That's just how it is, right? So having a domain, right? Having a nice portfolio that looks good, right? Um, if you feel like, hey, you know what? I'm not really that good of a designer. Guess what? It's a it's an ecosystem. Go to Fiverr.com and pay for a designer. Invest in yourself. What's twenty five dollars? What's fifty dollars? Right? 
You want to invest in yourself so people can believe in you, right? Um, and again, that will make such a big difference. Also to having images, maybe some GIF files, right? Um, I'm going to use an example of like uh, Daniel Belfield, right? Is one of our students from codingface.com. Let me see if I find it. This one. Here we go. Right. Shout out to Daniel. He just recently got hired as an HTML email developer. Right. Uh, also in the tech accelerator and his portfolio is great. Right. Um, there's things about this portfolio. I feel like it could have still gotten better. Right. But again, I'm not saying it's perfect, but it has everything that you need to catch the person's attention, not waste time. Right. You're giving them exactly what you're doing. Right. And at the same time, they could see the projects right in here. You can literally do the same thing. Okay. Like it works. Trust me. <laughs> Shout out to Garrett. Garrett is another developer that just recently got hired. I think like last month as an email developer started his journey, followed the advice that I told him and, you know, doesn't have the exact same type of portfolio as this, but the formula that I give him is there and it works. Okay. Um, so again, you can definitely learn a lot from this portfolio here, right? From Daniel, um, because it, it actually works guys. Okay. So again, just this portfolio is just too plain, bro. It's too plain. You don't have a domain. Uh, maybe it's because you're sending it to me like early stages. Maybe you still tweaking and you're still getting it there, but I'm just judging it for what I'm seeing right now. Okay. Uh, the portfolio doesn't catch my attention. It's not something that I will put you in the top 20. If I got a hundred candidates, I'm not putting you in that top 20 and that top 20 is where you want to be. So when they decide, Hey, who do we want to go in and call? Right? Cause this is what happens. Imagine when you open up zip recruiter or you open up LinkedIn, there's a whole bunch of uh, different applications there, right? Let's say there's a hundred of them. Okay. The person is going to each portfolio and spending about 10 seconds to 30 seconds. If you are able to keep that person engaged somehow by having good projects, by having something that catches their attention, it's a guarantee you're going to be in the top 20, right? So that's what you want to do. You want to have that person engage. Um, at the same time, you want to leave an impact that when they're choosing who's going to stay on their top 20 to see, okay, I got my top 20, but that doesn't mean that they're going to call 20 people for interviews. They might cut it down to 10, but at least now they come back to your portfolio and give you that second look that you needed to go in and go through all your projects. Like right now, this is not going to get you in that top 20. Okay. Um, so again, you got the skills. Now you got to present yourself as a professional. All right. Uh, but yeah, thank you for sending me your portfolio. Um, again, <laughs> don't worry. You know, once you get your, your project updated, you get your, your version two. send it to me. Let's go in and let's review it. Right. Uh, so we could go over it and make sure that, you know, you got everything up in there. Okay. Um, by the way, for anybody that's looking to learn how to code, that's looking to get into the game as soon as possible, like literally come in, come to codingphase.com. Okay. You can literally get started with $20 if you just want to get started with the front end development. Okay. But if you want to go and get access to all the career bundles, everything that we do at codingphase.com, accountability meetings, right? Like tomorrow, well, today, when you guys get to see this video, it's going to be Monday, 7 p.m. We have a literally an accountability meeting where we all get to hang out. We all get to uh, see everybody's projects. We see the progress that everybody's doing, right? Um, we see like literally we go over uh, what we have in the tech accelerator sheet, right? Like I'll give you an example, like all the stuff that people's in here, right? As people come in, they're checking off everything that they have to do, right? This is what you get with the tech accelerator, right? You're a diamond member and be part of the tech accelerator program. You come in, you have everything in order. Okay. This is where you have your guidance, right? And again, we go over all of those things in the accountability meeting and I answer your questions, whatever it is that you're concerned, I go in and, and I answer it. Same thing as, you know, this portfolios reviews that I do here, right? Um, 
I come in here and I try to do as many as I can on YouTube, but for all of my students, as soon as they send it to me or they start posting their portfolios, I start going in there and I start sending them tips, things that they got to fix, things that they got to uh, adjust. So by the time we get to like a week, two weeks in, we already have tweaked the portfolio to damn near perfection. Okay, which is something that's very important. That's what's going to get you your interviews. It's not really just, hey, I want to learn how to code. I'm just going to learn how to code just to learn how to code. You got to have a strategy. Okay, this is what we're doing right now with the tech accelerator again and everything that we do here at Coding Phase. Like literally the goal for somebody to come in is to say, hey, get in the game, right? Because you could easily say, I want to go in and become a front end developer. I want to be a full stack developer. But a lot of times you hit a big wall. You could go in and say, I'm just going to go Joe through here, Joe. I'm just going to learn everything that's in here to become a full stack developer. And guess what? You could become a full stack developer, but then now you hit that big wall, the big wall that says, Hey, my guy, you got no experience. You got a lot of skills and we should pay you, you know, 90,000, 100,000, 140,000, et cetera, wherever the, depending on where you live. But guess what? You've never done this professionally and you have no experience. So this is what we try to accomplish with everything that we do here as far as the tech accelerator and focusing on content editors and HTML email developer. So while you're still learning all the skills to become a, a full stack developer, you're actually in the industry. This is the easiest path for you to get into the industry. Now, of course, having the right portfolio, having the right projects, right? Having the right guidance that we provide a coding phase like you could get in pretty quickly. Okay. I've seen people come in, learn how to become a content editor in three weeks and literally two weeks after that, they got hired. Okay. It's not out of this world. Okay. Uh, there's people that come in and they do HTML emails. Guess what? Two months in they're hired. Okay. It's not that far off. All you have to do is again, come in, play chess. Don't play checkers. Don't be out here blindly. Trust me, I, I've been doing this long enough. I'm <laughs> five years in the game <laughs> on YouTube that you know me seven years before that. You know what I'm saying? I've been like literally grinding out here. Okay, so I know what I'm talking about when it comes to like getting into the industry as a self taught developer and helping people on that journey, right? Like literally, codingphase.com has everything that you need for your first three, four years, right? So as you're coming in, we want to focus on getting you into a job as soon as possible so you could build experience. And then from there, continue to also learn more about the front end, right? Learn about React, learn about uh, JavaScript, object oriented programming, learn about JavaScript animations, right? Uh, learn things about Shopify, right? Learn how to build your own business. Like all of this is part of the plan. But my first goal is to get you into a job as soon as possible so you can put some money in your pocket. People are not looking at you crazy. It's like, damn, you're going to go on this journey. You're not even going to make a dollar. Nah, I don't want you to be in that journey. Trust me. I did it before. That's why I'm telling you guys go the easy route, right? I spent a whole year learning about JavaScript and then I got a job. You know what I'm saying? And I still had to go through the content editor, become a content editor. And then from there, I became a front end developer. But if somebody would have told me this before, I wouldn't have spent that whole year in my house sucking on my thumb. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what I'm trying to tell you guys, man. But again, um, shout out to everybody that's in here, man. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description. If you're interested in the tech accelerator, so free training, go through the process, watch the video that's in there. Um, it's literally free. It don't cost you nothing. Okay. We talk about all of the things. Uh, that we do as a content editor and then you can book a call with me directly okay you don't have to pay for nothing i'll go in i'll break down how the tech accelerator works and if you have any questions you could ask me okay a lot of people come in and be like damn man i gotta sign up to be a diamond member 375 right some of you guys might be scared that's fine if you're scared to invest in yourself shoot that's on you i can't do nothing for you right but the truth is that there's a reason why we basically 
you know, we, we've been killing it, like, straight up, like, every freaking week, new people get added, I got, like, 26 more people that I gotta add to the, the freaking, you know, Hall of Fame, and right now, what I'm doing is, I'm, you know, I'm giving you a lot of information, but right now, we're, we're working on, on adding uh, Strappy API, so it could be easier to manage, um, you know, adding new content, and, and doing all the stuff, uh, but, like, literally, like, 27 more people, have been, you know, on a waiting list to get added to this, okay? I've been just adding people manually. <laughs> like, uh, it is what it is. I'm very busy right now, bro. Uh, but it is what it is, man. If you really enjoy what we do here, hey, go ahead. Check the link in the description. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again, codingphase.com. All right? Peace.